What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Fishbricks85. You know what it is. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Jurassic World Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus. Here it is, this is that big massive mammoth that we've all been wanting for years and years, ever since Jurassic Park came out when we were kids and they had that opening scene where Alan Grant and Ellie Settler walks out and they see this for the very first time and they're just amazed by the, the size of it and the reality that dinosaurs, this is where they very first get exposed, the dinosaurs now exist thanks to John Hammond. So. Let's see, as you can see it is 106 centimeters, which is 42 plus inches I believe in the neck, or 42 plus inches uh, full diameter, I'm not too sure. Let's see, and then of course, we set it up, you got this great artwork here, just absolutely fabulous, I love the artwork on this box, it is absolutely amazing. Such cool packaging. I mean as a kid if I were to see this on shelves, I would just go crazy here You can see a, a little kid as he's just like an awe at this huge huge dinosaur So with that being said you guys, um, let's see anything else. I want to bring up on the box here Oh, this is great right here. You got some great legacy collection artwork of the Jurassic World symbol right here With that stone volcanic kind of gray going on. That's just amazing um it's pretty much just the same artwork on the on this side over here except of course here you see alan grant john hammond and ellie settler um as they are approaching the brachiosaurus uh again this is just an amazing figure so with that being said you guys um i'm gonna pull it out of this box and we're just gonna take a look at it real quick and um get a better idea of just how big this thing really is It's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did it. Look this terrible rule book on it. Cold bloodedness, it doesn't apply. They're totally wrong. This is a warm bodied creature. <laughs> this thing doesn't live in a swamp. This thing's got what, a 25, 27 foot neck? Brachiosaurus 30. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got this thing out of the box and we're just going to take a look at it. Here we go. Shablam! There it is in all of its glory. It's too big to even fit completely onto camera here. Let's move upward, 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 upward. And here we can take a look at the neck and the face. Let's bring him in. Oh yeah. Looks just like the one in the movie. It's got that pinkish tongue and those little pearly whites. And the sculpt on this is just amazing, going right into the nose right here, where she, uh, the dinosaur in the movie actually sneezed on Lexi. Um, absolutely amazing. Come on, up here, girl. Come on. Up here. God bless you! This is absolutely just one of the best Mattel figures that I think they've made to date. Absolutely amazing. I love the fact that Mattel is starting to make these giant, ginormous dinosaurs. Um, you know, not too not too friendly on the wallet, not too friendly on taking up space, but uh, I mean, come on. Look at the sculpt on these things. The detail in this is just, I swear it almost looks like you can see it breathing. It's amazing. This is just awesome, awesome work by Mattel. Um, I don't care how many things, how many of these things they make, as long as they keep making these giant uh, dinosaurs, I will somehow keep finding the money, and I will keep finding the space for them. Um, I might have to pick up two or three extra jobs just to pay for this hobby, but that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> um, anyway, just an absolutely amazing figure. From head to tail, the sculpt on this, 
So, okay, with that being said, um, let's do some scaling here. I'm gonna start with this uh, Stompin' T-Rex here. Let's see. That you recently seen in one of my other videos. This is the one that I picked up from the Marketplace Find. If you guys haven't watched that video, um, make sure you go check it out. And um, yeah, that looks about right. I mean, that's about the size a T-Rex should probably be to this behemoth. Um, let's see, what else we got? Uh, let's try a Raptor. I got blue down here. Let's try blue. Just kind of move this one out of the way here. Let's see, I'm gonna put him down there. We got blue. Again, yeah, that looks like that would be about um, the right size or scale. Um, let's see. We got a para here. Let's try the para. Again, I would say that's probably about right. Um, let's try Ceratops, Cynoceratops, however you say it, Cinero. I hate these names, guys. I can't, I can't stress it enough. I hate dinosaur names. I'm terrible with them. Um, but anyway, again, I would say this is probably, probably about right. I think, um, I think this might be a little small, actually. Um, that's something that I think is definitely a complaint with the Mattel series. Uh, we don't necessarily need a Triceratops this big. But we definitely need one that's a little bit bigger. Um, if you look back at the old Kenner style Triceratops, I think those were a little bit more close to actual scale size. Um, these just seem to be a little small even compared to the humans. I've got Alan Grant down here. I'm going to... in. I don't know. Actually, to the human, that looks pretty on scale to me. Um, I could It could be a little bit bigger maybe, but um, this is pretty close because... If we put him hugging and like listening, let's turn his head. If we put him hugging and listening to like the breathing like he did in the movie, that's probably close to scale, maybe. I would still say that this dinosaur could probably be just a little bit bigger. Um, but anyway, let's compare him to the Brachiosaurus. Let's see. Now, comparing that to. Uh, let's get you out of the way there. Comparing that to the picture, I would say that's about right. Yeah, it looks like the humans come up to right about the knee, and that's exactly what we have here. So, um, yeah, that might actually be on scale as far as the humans go. Um, I just think this coming next to it looks kind of small. I, I feel like this dinosaur could be a little bit bigger. Um, anyway, let's see. And then we got this guy down here. He's kind of not sitting exactly right. Um, let's see. Yeah, I would say that looks pretty good too. That looks about about skellish, I think. I think that's about the right size. So uh, for the most part, I would say that these are scaled up pretty nice. Um, something that I think is real cool is we can do the old. Let me get these guys out of here. Oh, this is really cool. We can do the old. You know, yabba dabba do Flintstones bit where it's time to get off work and he goes sliding down the dinosaur's tail. So I think that's kind of cool, you know. Uh, yabba dabba do. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button down there. Light it up blue for me. And uh, as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.